One of the great things about the Carlisle show is that we've set up a little display here. We have a walk around, so people have brought their car. I'm here now with Paul Vini, who has brought a very, very special car. It's a 70 Hemi Super B. Paul, did you restore this car or buy it like this? I bought the car back in 1998 here at Carlisle, and it was partly done, and I finished it. That's one of the great stories I hear. So many people say they came here and either bought their project car or bits and pieces to make their project car complete, and then they return here years later with the car completed. Now, this car is beautifully done. It's a Concours restoration. Have you entered it and won any trophies yet with it? Yeah, I got a whole room full, but, you know, I'm, I'm kind of past that stage now where I just come for fun. Now, is it a numbers-matching car? Tell me about it. Yes, it's a, a numbers-matching 426 Hemi, four-speed, one of 21 produced in 1970, has 43,000. track factory. Of course, the 410 gear ratio was the steepest gears available from the factory on the assembly line. And uh, what's it like to cruise on the highway? You get past 60, it's it's buzzing. It's right. buzzing with a 410 rear end in it. you got to say, you got to price your credit for, for having, uh, well, the, the seriousness to allow 410s out of the gate and basically uh, an acceleration gear unlike any other. Really tr fantastic stuff. Now, of course, 1970 was the big year. The Hemi got hydraulic lifters. Uh, have you made any changes inside of the engine or have you done a pure resto inside as well? Three years ago, I heard a little bit of a noise that bothered me, so I pulled the engine. My sons and I pulled the engine out and took it to an engine shop, and we had it just more or less cleaned up. It wasn't bad. We had one main starting to go a little bit bad, so we just, while it was apart, we just added a little goodies on the inside but kept the original appearance. You know, speaking of those 410 gears, in many cases, you know, the cars weren't really meant to last forever. And in many cases, guys would miss a gear. And with the 410s, the engine revs up so fast, you can easily miss a gear and, and, and spin. Was that bearing damage the core, the root result of maybe missing a gear, or what happened? <laughs> no, nah, you, you know, well, like I said, when I took it down to the engine shop, the guy didn't even hear it. But with me owning a car so long, you know what it sounds like. You know your car. You get to know your car. And it just didn't sound right. And, and in fact, the engine shop guy told me, he says, I don't hear anything. I said, I do. And we found, you know, we found a problem. It's pretty much what I thought it was. That's a good thing. Nip it in the bud. Now, this is a numbers matching block. Of course, 1970 high nickel blocks and wide pad rocker arms were new for the Hemi. And uh, carburetors, did you have to find the original carbs? Because 1970 carbs are tough to find. Uh, were they present? They were on the car. And I've never had to touch those carburetors. They've worked flawlessly ever since I've had the car. AFB is a wonderful carburetor, so trouble-proof and, and wonderful. And take a look inside the vehicle, at the interior. If you would open the door, I see a bench seat. Let's keep in mind the Super B was kind of the entry-level model, the Coronet RT, of course, being the top of the line. But I'm loving this, a bench seat with a four-speed. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, kind of unique. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of bucket seats. And this, again, one of the, one of the things that attracted me to it was the bench seat with the four-speed. Beautiful feature, of course, the original window sticker. We'll pull this out, show this to the camera. We can see the car was originally sold or shipped to Wagner Dodge in Johnstown, Pennsylvania, way back in 1969, late 69, apparently, I guess, here. But anyway, 49.49 was the sticker price on the car, of which the 426 Hemi added $848.45. It's a rare treat when all that paper stuff's still with the car. Now, of course, today we have a rebirth of the Super B, the rear-wheel drive cars, the Hemi cars. How does that make you feel? Isn't it awesome? Yeah, yeah, it is. And, you know, you compare the old ones with the new ones, and uh, uh, the new ones have their benefits, obviously, with the modern features, but I'm still an old, old school guy. They both go hand in hand. That's the beauty. You know, I hear at Carlisle, something like 30% of the entries are of the late model variety. Over here, we can see a massive number of fields that are opened up with categories devoted to Magnums, Chargers, Challengers, 300s, and all the late model rear-wheel drive cars. And back in the 80s, when the first crisis at Carlisle happened, you know, we had Charger 2.2s and, and modest performance vehicles. I never would have thought we'd see Hemis come back in rear-wheel drive cars, but it's awesome. So the old and the new going forward into the future. It's awesome stuff. So I want to thank you very much for restoring this car and bringing it back and, and, and preserving it, sir. Oh, it's a pleasure being here. Thank you. Well, on behalf of RedlineDodge.com and, of course, Dodge here, let's get back to our friend Cheston and spin to win. All right, next contestant, come on up. Give it a whirl. Let's see where you end up.